Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about breakpoint chlorination. Now, breakpoint chlorination is nothing but it's a chlorination of water to such an extent that it not only the living organisms but all other organic impurities in the water are destroyed completely. So 100% disinfection is possible at breakpoint chlorination. So let us know what are the stages involved in this. Here we have a graph of, uh, to discuss. Here it is the applied chlorine dose in the x-axis and residual chlorine at the y-axis. Now applied chlorine dose means we are applying chlorine into water. We are adding chlorine into water. We are increasing the quantity of chlorine in water. You can see from here we are increasing the quantity of the chlorine. Now here residual chlorine means the left of chlorine after it is being utilized by the uh, impurities present in the water or whatever compounds present in the water. So it will use up some chlorine. So the left out chlorine after this utilization is nothing but residual chlorine or you can say free chlorine. Now see these are the there are four stages in this uh, graph. This is stage one. Here I have mentioned that it is oxidation of reducing compounds by chlorine. This is stage two, formation of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. In stage three, there is destruction of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. And this is the breakpoint. And fourth stage is nothing but the free residual chlorine. Now, let us explain the stages one by one. Now, if we talk of stage one, this is the stage one that is oxidation of reducing compounds by chlorine. Now you can see that here in the x-axis where we are increasing the amount of chlorine that is applied chlorine dose is increasing and you can see the chlorine that has been sent in the water has been completely utilized and residual chlorine is coming as zero that is the amount of chlorine that has been sent for the disinfection is utilized completely and there is no residual chlorine left in the stage one. Okay, it is consumed completely. So the chlorine applied here, it's what happens is that will be consumed by in oxidation of reducing compounds by the chlorine. Okay, so all reducing compounds will get oxidized and at this stage one. If you talk of stage two, see here, this is a stage two. Again, we are increasing the chlorine dose and there is in the stage two, we can say that there is formation of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. I have mentioned in the graph. Now, here, if we uh, talk of residual chlorine, you can see that the residual chlorine amount is increasing in the stage two, okay? So in the stage one, it was all zero. And after that, in stage two, it is continuously increasing. This is due to formation of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. That is, chlorine will react with organic compounds and ammonia to form chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. And this will give a test similar as with that as that of the chlorine. So we can say that. Uh, there is increase in amount of uh, residual chlorine, but is not, it is not the residual chlorine that is getting increased. It is nothing but the amount of the chloroorganic compounds and chloramines are getting increased. And because of this compounds, these compounds will give test similar as that of chlorine. So we assume that there is increase in residual chlorine, but it is not the increase in, there is uh, no increase in residual chlorine. It is actually because of the formation of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. So in stage two, there is formation of chloroorganic compounds and chloramines. Now, after that, in the stage, in the after the stage two there is stage three that is 
formation uh, destruction of chloro organic compounds and chloramines in stage 3 you can see here this is stage 3 the graph if you talk of residual chlorine is decreasing and it is reaching to a point which you call it as break point so you can say that with further increase in amount of chlorine the residual chlorine is decreasing or else we can say that the chlorine that has been applied is utilized in destruction of this chloro organic compounds and chloramines that was formed in the stage 2 so it is it seems that the residual chlorine is utilized somewhere and it is getting reduced this will reduce till a point we call it as break point reaches okay so at break point we can say that the whole organic compounds which gives color bad taste order all disease producing bacteria all this will be completely destructed this point is nothing but called as break point where we get almost 100 percent disinfection of water now in stage four there is if you apply the chlorine dose there is increase in the residual chlorine this is because because here at break point there is complete destruction of all organic compounds all ammonia chloram chloramines and all bacteria and germs everything has been destructed here and almost 100 percent infection is there disinfection is there and if you are increasing the amount of chlorine this will simply increase the amount of chlorine in water this free resid this we call it as this is a free residual chlorine so in stage four we get free residual chlorine this free residual chlorine should not be in much amount because it should be in the uh, range of about 0.1 to 0.2 ppm only because more than that causes bad odor and taste and also create irritation in the mucous membrane so break point Chlorination removes completely the organic compounds, ammonia, all reducing compounds. It removes color, it removes bad taste, odor, and all the bacteria, germs, or you can say that it gives 100% destruction of all disease producing bacteria and all the other compounds. That's all for today. Thank you all.